So what I have right here in front of me is a dock that can do over 77 million pixels for your Mac and it's deemed the missing piece for Apple Silicon Macs. The thing that makes this device special and different from the thousands of docks that you can find on Amazon or on the website by doing a random dock search is that this device right here is one of the first if not the first to contain dual or two Thunderbolt 4 chips that allows you to run not just one or two 6k displays but three 6k displays at 60 hertz with an additional 4k 60 hertz external monitor or display or in harmony if you have high refresh rate monitors like 4k 120 hertz or 1080p at 240 hertz this will also work with those monitors or devices you just have to make sure that you are using the correct thunderbolt 4 40 gigs per second ports i don't have the means to test this yet but i've seen different users on the internet push this device to the limits and of course you do have to have an m3 max or a really powerful apple silicon device they have been able to connect four 6k displays at 60 hertz just using this little dock one thing that i like about ivanki is that right out of the box they tell you how many displays or external monitors you can connect it's going to heavily depend on the mac that you have if you have a base model mac mini m1 or m2 as well as macbook a m1 macbook pro m2 macbook pro m3 then you can only run a total of one single display and apple is the one that's specifying these restrictions that your mac can run and the dock is certainly not going to change those specifications and then if you have a mac mini m2 pro or you have a macbook pro m1 m2 or m3 pro then you have the ability to run two dual displays and for me i actually have an m1 pro macbook pro 14 inch and i fall in this category where i can run two external displays and i've tested it with this dock and it works really good and seamless at the same time you can see if you have a macbook pro m1 m2 or m3 max then you have the ability to run quad displays and that is the maximum configuration that i was highlighting that has the capacity to give you over 77 million pixels and of course depending on the monitor's resolutions whether it's 4k or 6k there are different ways of configuring it and it's all specified right here one of the first few things i noticed when i picked up the dock was how heavy it is it feels premium and the device also comes in different multiple colors that you can choose from the unboxing experience is very much apple like and let's look at what you get in the box so this is how the box comes packaged the front you can also see the back and at the same time this is how this top side looks and the other side as well it show you the different ways you can stand it up and at the top it just has the ivank logo now removing the shrink wrap you can see right here the unboxing experience is almost apple like it's pressurized meaning that the box comes off very slow you just have to lift it up very slow and it gives you this premium feeling or experience and when you do that you can see the fusion dock m1 max and we just put it to the side we'll get to it at the last one of the first things you see is how to set it up of course four simple steps and when you are setting it up you're going to see two pop-up screens to grant permissions because you use two different cables to connect to it and then also you see how many displays you can connect to your mac and ivanki is very specific on these ones as well and you also get to see the frequently asked questions also in the box you get this envelope that has the anti slip strips that you can stick on your dock and it also comes with four of them that you can see right there so whether it's laying down or standing you have four you can connect you also get the fusion dock m1 max user manual and in this manual they specify how much power delivery and how the configurations can be for different use cases and you also get two of these boxes so this is one of the two and in this box you can see here we have the power cable that's here and we have the upstream dual USB-C cable that's used to connect the device we also get the other box and this one has the power brick and basically this 
is an extension and it's really long as well and you get an 8k hdmi cable that comes in in case you need an extra hdmi because there's a lot of displays that you can do and you also get some velcro that you can use for cable management now this right here is the ivanki fusion dock the unboxing experience continues even with this device itself you can see how it looks when you open it up for the first time and i'll just show you the different ports that it has and the different power delivery options but here at the back you can see it has a safety sticker that you can peel it off to reveal even more ports that it has at the back the body of the fusion dock m1 max is made out of metal and feels really heavy and premium and you can stand it up like this or you can have it laid down as well in total this fusion dock max has 20 ports and we'll start with the back so at the back on the top you can see we have a 3.5 millimeter audio out port that can be used to send audio and you have one optical audio port besides that we have three 10 gigabits per second usb a 3.2 ports that support 7.5 watt power delivery besides that we have one 2.5 gigabits per second rj45 ethernet cable for fast internet connection or if you have network data storage and you need access you can also use this 2.5 gigabits port to be able to send data back and forth now besides that we have two hdmi 2.0 ports that are capable of 4k 60 hertz at least according to the specifications from ivanki themselves but while i was doing research for this video i actually came across this comment the hdmi ports actually carry the hdmi 2.1 standard ivanki just didn't list it for some reason but it's in the specs and has been tested of course should this be the case then you would need a mac that's able to support the hdmi 2.1 standard as well i followed up with ivanki just to confirm if this is so and you can see their email response here they said our fusion dock max one is suitable for m1 m2 m3 pro or max macbooks at present the whole series of mac video transmission through usb c to hdmi is limited to 4k 60 hertz which is the specification of hdmi 2.0 so in order to avoid misunderstandings it is directly marked as hdmi 2.1 the parameters of the docking station itself support 8k 30 fps or 30 hertz but only hdmi 2.0 is written in order to avoid complaints i'm recording this video of course on the 14 inch m1 pro macbook pro so i don't have the means to be able to test and verify that this is so with a high refresh rate monitor but eventually i'm sure we'll get there and then we'll be able to test it out but should you have a device that has the supported uh hdmi ports and connectivity then you can go ahead and actually test that this is so and at the same time keep in mind that this is only designed for mac os it's not designed for windows at the time i'm recording this video and it's only meant for apple silicon so apple m1 devices if you have an intel based mac then that is not supported Noted. Continuing with some of the ports, you can see that this has two 40 gigabits per second USB-C ports that can handle 6K at 60 Hertz and output 15 watts of power delivery. Besides that, you have two 40 gigabits per second upstream USB-C ports for connecting your Mac to the dock and have a power delivery of 96 watts to charge your Mac. Besides that, we have the DC power connection port at 180 watts to power up the dock and on top of that there is one security lock point if it's going to be on display or you are trying to use for protection at the front we have two 40 gigabits per second usb-c downstream ports these ports can support data transmission as well as video transmission functions and can provide 15 watts power delivery at the same time besides that we have two 10 gigabits per second usa ports with 7.5 watts of power output and we have an additional two 10 gigabits per second usb c ports that can offer power delivery like charging phones and other devices keep in mind that these ports do not support video transmission functions functions but they do provide up to 30 watts and 7.5 watts of power delivery respectively besides that we have the headphone jack of course that you can use to monitor audio and 
we have the SD card and micro SD card slot. This exact video is actually being recorded using the Fusion Dock Max 1. I have my peripheral devices connected to it and I've been testing it here on the channel for some time now and it works seamless and really good. I like the fact that I still have multiple numbers of ports that I can use if I was to connect like mouses or keyboards and if I was to have like more studio display or pro display XDR that supports 6k resolutions I don't have to worry about changing my dock because this has some sort of future proofing because 6k is probably the next thing that's gonna come but you can see how good and how this setup looks it just works i now can safely say that my macbook port problem has been fixed all thanks to the fusion dock max one so shout out to ivanki for sending this over for me to be able to review i noticed on some amazon reviews for this product that a few people mentioned that it can sometimes heat up and from the time i've been using it for the last two weeks it seems about pretty standard considering how many input output devices that i have the heat that it generates is pretty much on par with this brick that is used to charge the mac so it heats up but then it's still functional and i haven't seen like any frame drops with this camera or my top down one and it seems pretty good and at the same time i feel like uh when it comes to this device it would be nice to have like a 10 gigabits rj45 ethernet connection for people that are using that means or input output and to connect to different servers because sometimes 2.5 might not always cut it but a quick tip or hint that you can do to bypass that is you can get like a usb-c thunderbolt 4 to ethernet and then just connect on one of the 40 or 10 gigabits ports that the hub has and then the other end can connect to your servers and then you can get the full 10 gigabits per second transfer speed to connect to your different storage media devices that you might have so that's about it for me when it comes to this ivanki fusion dock max one it's designed for apple silicon devices maybe in the future they might come up with more variants but at the time i'm recording this video this is how it's been for me and that's just my quick personal take on it let me know what you think about it and if you like this video leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one peace